Number 1. If you import your right-hand drive car, it can be complicated as your vehicle will need to conform to French manufacture and use regulations. If it is a model or make, not on sale in France, things could become a real hassle. And if you stay in France for more than a month, you will have to change to a French registration, in theory at least. So, if you envisage a long-term or permanent expatriation, it might be better to make arrangements to sell your right-hand drive vehicle in the UK and buy a left-hand drive one in France. Number 2. If your car is getting on in years, you will have to think about taking it along for an MOT, Le Control Technique, at an officially approved center. After this, it is every two years. Personally, I find it is better to first take it to your local garage, where they can do a pre-control. This can be done at the same time as you have it serviced. They know the ropes, and will check for all that needs doing. They will then take it along to the center to control for you. I advise this, because if you go there directly and it fails, you will have to take it to your garage, and have all the faults put right before submitting, and paying, again. I could be wrong, but I suspect garages and MOT centers are in collusion, and when a garage sends them a customer there is some sort of understanding between them that, if you have this pre-check you won't be failed. Number 3. Most French motorways are toll paying. On short stretches the amount can be a flat rate, or even free, but it usually depends on the distance you drive. When you leave the motorway you give your ticket to the attendant at the toll booth. However, more and more of these are automatized, and payment is by credit card or cash. Oh yes, do not lose your ticket, or you will be required to pay the maximum toll. Number 4. French motorway signs are blue and usually indicate the destination more frequently than the motorway number. So, if you are driving from Lyon to Chambery, you are likely to see more Chambery signs than A-43. Number 5. Many French motorways are two-lane only, or have long two-way stretches. Be careful, as there can be sudden traffic slowdowns due to trucks taking ages to inch past each other. Number 6. Be careful on French motorways as many drivers lack road discipline. It is the usual tricks. In spite of the 130 km per hour limit, apparently 39% of them drive at speeds between 130 and 150 km per hour. When there are three lanes, one in three, hog the middle one. And there is always that irresistible tendency to stay too close behind the vehicle they're following. Number 7. I know it sounds obvious, but the French do drive on the right. You will soon get used to it, but you will have to concentrate in the beginning. A useful aid is to make sure that you, as a driver, are nearest the side of the road. Number 8. Electronic speed camera detectors are illegal in France. Simply having one in your car could render you liable to a fine. Number 9. Driving your right-hand car in France can be a bit tricky when it comes to overtaking as you have to pull out more to see any oncoming traffic. If you do not have a front seat passenger, to tell you it is safe to go ahead, you can get better visibility, if you fall further back. Number 10. Maximum speed limits are clearly displayed on all roads in France. At present there are rumors about lowering them all by 10 km per hour. When it is raining, you are supposed to reduce all these speeds by 20 km per hour on the motorway and 10 km per hour on other roads. It will come as no surprise, that few French motorists actually do this. Number 11. Be careful of roadside and police and vehicle speed cameras, especially in villages where the limit is 50 km per hour. 
you can easily get caught out. If you are really in a hurry, you can add 5 km per hour to these speeds without running too much risk of getting a fine, but anything beyond that, and you are pushing your luck. And finally, number 12. When approaching an unmarked road junction, the rule is to give way to all traffic approaching you from the right, even if the road is minor. This kind of junction is now admittedly rare but still exists, especially in remote country areas. However, when you are approaching a junction from a minor road it is better to play safe, and assume that drivers approaching from the left on the major road are not going to give way,